So why is internal rotation important in a triangle? You may think that's not that big a deal. The important thing is the externally rotating leg. For me, so this is internal rotation, right? Where I'm peeling this off the floor. Whenever I'm adjusting a triangle, and I lift and I come up, and I, yes, I have the external rotation here, and I chop down. When I bring this one into play, get your case shin out of the way, right? I try to internally rotate this leg. So I create pressure and rotate in from my thigh to adjust the triangle tighter. So without cape, mm -hmm. I'm here, right? You can see the size of the hole here. As I internally rotate this, this leg didn't even move, and I was able to close off a good bit of that gap. Then once I add this external rotation and I try to pinch, then we get a really tight triangle. So one more time. Here, lift. I have my external rotation. I trap here. I go here, here, I can try to squeeze. Oh, let's get your chin out of the way. I can try to squeeze here where I bring my knees together. And it's not bad. I'm probably going to get a finish. Okay, squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. But here's what happens when I do the internal rotation. Almost immediate, right? So it's the difference between me going, I'm still squeezing my knees together. Okay, you can feel that, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to bring my knees closer together where I just squeeze in tight, which is something you've probably learned, right? But if I add the internal rotation, it just cinches it up that much more. I'm still staying tight on this ankle here. I internally rotate and squeeze here, much tighter triangle. So that's why we address that first. And it's also addressed at first because most people are lacking more internal rotation than they are the external rotation on the other leg. So. I'm going to take a yoga block. We're going to stick that right between her knees, right? From here, let's play. We're going to work on this knee since that's what we did before. She's going to keep this one still, and I want to do a little squeeze into the block. Good. So you have a little bit of pressure there. Your, her left leg is going to stay still, and her right leg is going to pivot. So she's keeping contact with the block. It's not going to fall, and she's going to pull her heel out towards me. Awesome. I'm watching for things like making sure her pelvis doesn't shift over, which would be essentially cheating and not true hip internal rotation, which we want to look at what the femur is doing in the socket. And just to show you how different people can be, this is when I assess my own hip internal rotation here. I put the block in between. I have an angry angle at my hips and my knees. I make sure that I don't have any pain anywhere. I'm going to squeeze into the block and I'm going to pivot it the same leg that Kate did pulling myself out to the side, making sure that I'm not hiking my hip up, and the floor gives really good feedback there. Keep the squeeze, rotate in. That means that I have some power in this range, and I'm able to actively control it.